This time next week, Chicago will have a new mayor. Mayor Lori Lightfoot gave her farewell speech yesterday. Political analyst Laura Washington is here to talk about that. More Laura, good morning. Good morning. We, we've talked over the last few weeks about what the mayor's legacy would be. What do you think that is? Well, I think the centerpiece of it is, and she would make this case, is equity, racial and economic equity, bringing that to the city, to, particularly to communities that were most in need, and threading that philosophy through everything she did in her administration. Uh, that's what she talked about yesterday. And she's the first mayor in a very long time to make that a priority. Oh, what were some of her wins during her tenure? Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, financially, um, you, you don't hear a lot about that, but she, she's ending this, her tenure with a budget, budget surplus. She's brought the pension obligation down. She's done a lot of things to keep the city on track financially. She's, uh, she raised the minimum wage, which is really good for working families. And she, and she mental health care, that was another thing that you don't hear a lot about. That mm -hmm. She, she had pre, impre, increased the amount of mental health services that people get in the city. Things that didn't quite work so well for the mayor. Well, the, 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 pub, the thing that, that killed her and got her out of office was public safety and crime. Yeah. She just couldn't get a handle on that. It wasn't completely her fault. The, 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 the uh, unrest after George Floyd, I think, led into that uh, but and, and, and she would say the crime has come down from what it was when she first took office but uh, she had a police superintendent David Brown who really wasn't up to the job and I think if she had recognized that much sooner and and changed leadership things might be different today interesting anything else you think she should have done differently why well, people talk a lot about her style but you know I think that's in some ways uh, to be expected because she came in as a fighter. She came mm -hmm. in saying, I'm going to end corruption. I'm going to turn City Hall around. I'm going to be my own person. And that's what she delivered, her own person. Uh, you know, we, you have to be careful what you ask for sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, if, and if crime and public safety was the big issue that, that led to her not getting another term, we also have to see what that means for Brandon Johnson. Yeah. It means that he is already behind the eight ball when it comes to, to that because we're, 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 he's heading right in the summer, yep. it, right after he gets inaugurated. Right. And we'll have to see what kind of a plan he's going to roll out. Laura Washington, always a lot to talk about. Yeah, we'll see you see. again soon. Thank you so much. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.